So here we are, it's our first day in Southwest Utah. And uh, we found a little trail not far from our hotel. Um, kind of had a late start today, but there's just so much hiking to do around here. We spent a bunch of time this morning in bed looking at maps and researching trails. And there are just hundreds and hundreds of trails on public land. And it's just so hard to pick because they all look absolutely amazing. So today we're hiking through the canyon and uh, uh, it is, it's beautiful. There should be a slot canyon somewhere up there. So we'll see if we can find it. All right, here we are. We're going into a slot canyon. I should have brought poles. Which is why I did. So just like much of the country and uh, certainly in New England this year, Utah is in a pretty exceptional drought. And you can tell, look at the massive cracks in the soil here. It's just so incredibly dry. Whew. It is very, very hot. We're heading up north. It's October in the desert and must be like 109 degrees or 95 degrees here in the sun. And it's dry heat, so it's bearable, but it's just takes a toll on you, especially hiking in the middle of the day like this. Whenever Natalie and I go to fun places, we like to do photo shoots and things get messy, like this dress, mm -hmm. the sand. We're always telling our couples that don't you get dirty? Let it get dirty. It's part of adventure. definitely a hidden gem of a park and especially if you are a landscape photographer and you really like capturing sunsets and sunrises this is the place to be and it's kind of funny so I'm actually standing at um, sunrise point uh, because everybody who comes here in the evening for sunset there's a place called sunset point just a couple miles down the road and there are crowds of people with tripods and it's beautiful but Sunrise Point at sunset is not any less beautiful than Sunset Point. I mean, look at the sky, look at the scenery. It is just amazing, especially way back there. Oh yeah, I love it here. 